Hey, Dr. Andy Kirshner here. Thank you for joining me here on Backwards. Uh, first, I'd like to thank everybody who sent in all their questions and comments about my fitness challenge. Some of you wanted to know what it was that I was going to do to get myself in shape and the things I was going to do for my diet. Well, as I'm working that through, I'm going to share it with you, and you can look for updates every couple of days. I do have some history as a personal trainer before I was a physician, and I'm hoping to be able to put some of that to good use. And during that time, I'm also going to be consulting with some experts in fitness to get some new exercises and some new things, which I'll also share with you. Now, I got a viewer question from a patient who wanted to know about a foraminotomy. One of their friends had a foraminotomy, and they said it got rid of their, their sciatic pain. So they wanted to know if a foraminotomy was the cure for their sciatic pain. Well, there's a few things that we need to talk about first. First of all, what is sciatica? Sciatic pain is pain that's associated with the sciatic nerve. Now, the term sciatica is sort of a garbage can diagnosis, meaning that we just use it to cover a whole lot of things all at once. But sciatic pain is whenever there's something irritating the sciatic nerve. Now, at every segment of your spine, there's a nerve that exits from your spinal cord, and it goes through what's called an exit foramina. Now, the sciatic nerve comes out between the segments of L5 and S1. Now, if it turns out that the foramina, that hole where the nerve exits, is being reduced in size because of extra bone growth or disc herniation or anything, then that nerve gets compressed and it causes sciatica. A foraminotomy is when they actually go in there surgically and they take a burr and they actually make the hole that the nerve exits bigger. That way the nerve isn't compressed and it will get rid of the sciatic pain. So if your sciatic pain is being caused by exit foramina stenosis or a reduction in the size of the exit foramina, then a foraminotomy is probably a good choice. But it's important to know that there are a lot of different things that cause sciatica, including piriformis syndrome and a few other things, and we can talk about those later. But that's the basis of a foraminotomy, and I thank you for your question. I always look forward to your other questions as well, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be well, and thank you for joining me here at Backwards.